everybody! So today I am going to teach you how to make lackeys. And I'm gonna take you through this whole process. So, very step one, go shopping. I have my list here of things that we need. And I'm at Market Basket. I've got my mask and I've got my bags in the back. Let's go grocery shopping! Okay, now that my shopping is all done, wow, wasn't that magically fast? Love, gotta love movie magic. I'm on my way home now to go put all those magical ingredients together and create something delicious. So here we go. Now that we've done our shopping and we've gathered our ingredients, we need two eggs, four to five potatoes, depending on how big they are, a small onion, one quarter cup of flour, breadcrumbs, or matzo mix. You also need a grater. The one that we have to work with, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not the best. It's gonna take us a while to use it. It's actually the worst. We're gonna use it anyways, because this is what we have, and I'm gonna That's show it. you how to make these lockies. Now our first step is to wash our hands, which we already did. I didn't. I'm doing it now. And then... Pass the potatoes. <laughs> that's why you need to wash the potatoes. Run away potato! Okay, while well, that's happening, we had to grate the onion. So something that we eat with lockies. Did you grow up saying lockies or lockies? Lucky. Something that you commonly eat with lockies. I can't find my glasses. Is sour cream or applesauce. Oh. They're all peeled. So the next step is to grate them. So you're gonna take your grater and go like this. See how it makes that? That's what we want to have in this bowl. Okay, I had the expert take over. <laughs> Look at that. Good job, Mom. Thanks, Gertz. This is why you don't use this tool. We were not 100% prepared. So while the grater is grating, I am mixing the flour, one quarter cup of flour and two eggs together. So there they are together. Now I mix with a little, with a little tiny whisk. Baby whisk, find it easier than if I was trying to use the big one. You can also, if you don't have a little whisk, you can also use a fork. You also add a tablespoon or so of salt. Kosher salt. That's probably enough. So the next step is to put the onions and the potatoes in a clean cloth squeeze it together so that they can dry out because potatoes and onions have a lot of moisture in them so you need to kind of get that out before we cook them. A ton of water. A ton of water. I'm doing the onions first because they are ready and the potatoes aren't quite ready to be smushed yet. All right, so here's two potatoes and you can already see uh, all that liquid. Oh, oh. Whoopsie. So right now I am Squeezing these out, get them nice and dry. I'm doing it over the sink just in case any comes out. Now nothing is dripping out, but I can feel it in here. Can you see it? it's getting kind of wet? And I'm squeezing it really hard, using my muscles. Now the onions are going to go in here with the egg and the flour. I'm not going to use all of the onion because I don't love a ton of onion and things, so I'm gonna mix it together, wait till we put the potatoes in, and then see. Yep, here's Rocky. 
Say hi, Rocky. <laughs> and here's Gracie. Hello. Are you enjoying your bone? Yeah. Gracie has some pajamas on. Rocky had some pajamas on, but he doesn't really like to wear them. So he took his off. So now I'm doing it with no, the, the potato, and I'm hardly even squeezing it. Now I'm squeezing a little bit harder. Look how much more is coming out. Here's Lucky Larry. So now we are mixing the potato with the egg and the onion and the flour and the salt. And then mix it all together. So while this is mixing, we are going to put some oil in the pan. This is the part you need supervision for. So we are using vegetable oil. So you're gonna put enough oil on the bottom of the pan. This is the size we're using, which is probably an 11 inch, but you can use any size you want. Um, and you want enough oil on the bottom of the pan to cover the whole pan and then Heat the oil up, but not too thick. But you don't want it no, up you to don't the top want it, of the pan. No, 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 just enough to cover the bottom. And so then you are going to turn it. Have your parent turn up the heat enough so that it's almost simmering. So the oil looks like it is just about ready for us to put in our spoonful of mixture. So we take this. Oh, it's a big spoonful. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> Unless you want a big giant one. So I'm just. Putting it in like that. Doing big ones today. Yeah. So you want to cook them in there for a little bit, one to two minutes, depending on how big they are, each side. And then you flip them. Okay, they're a little crunchy on the outside, so you can tell, oh, that is perfect. That is the perfect one. Yes. We nice. like to have them nice and crunchy. Yes, nice and golden. Some people even like them a little um, burnt. We like them a little burnt. <laughs> we, somebody such as we, like them a little burnt. But these actually are beautiful. Yes, they are beautiful. Ah, ah. Yum. Okay. So once your lockies are nice and golden brown on the edge, then you flip them like this. Hi. Hello. Make sure your dogs don't eat them and then you can enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed learning about this delicious treat that we have every year. Let me know what you think and I'll see you on Zoom.